Roads there is Seawall Road looking west. This is the Seawall Road looking east. And as you can see this morning, the sea is coming over the wall. This is my, this is my, this is my day I'm ready to take it on, come what may So typically I go running another three to five miles east of here But I like to do it on the morning when the sea is not so angry so windy morning and as you can see the ocean is coming over the sea wall here and when I was young when I was a little kid this didn't happen and so those of us who live along the coast can see evidence of sea level rise because this is a regular occurrence now the sea comes over, the Atlantic Ocean comes over the wall. Okay, this is Seawall Road heading towards Rupert Craig Highway that's going east. And as you can see, the seawall is being overflowed by the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is coming over the seawall this morning. And this is a regular occurrence now. It happens every few months at high tide. See, there you go. At high tide. The wall is not high enough to prevent the sea from coming in. And so, some time ago, the local government here invested in some supplementary wall, so they tried to add an extension to the seawall. And that extension is about, adds about two feet in height to the wall this stretch of the wall but as you can see it's not preventing the wall from it's not preventing the sea from coming over the wall this is the Russian embassy so the Russian embassy is located here in Kitty That's the residences and at the Atlantic Ocean. Um, this embassy was built more than 20 years ago, I think about 25 years ago or so. And has been occupied continuously since then. Diana has, in fact, maintained good relations with Russia. And at this point, I think Guyanese don't need a visa to travel to Russia. And vice versa, Russians don't really need a visa to come to Guyana for short-term stays. So this is the Russian embassy. Now that's their tennis courts. And this is the beginning of the Rupert Craig Highway. So Seawall Road turns into Rupert Craig Highway at this point. And on that side becomes Public Road Kitty heading west. And that's the Saturday morning traffic which is fairly sparse coming into the city from the east coast. 
up the Marama. So this is Rupert Craig Highway. There's a lot of moisture in the air because of the spray from the sea wall, from the sea coming over the wall. We're gonna see if we can get a closer look because at this point I think the direction of the wind changes a little bit. And we'll see if we can get a closer shot. Alright, so this is Rupert Craig Highway. Somebody put up a house with a tower. And I'll give you a closer look at that later. So this is the Atlantic Ocean over the seawall this morning. These are the properties on Rupert Craig Highway. So this is the evidence of rising sea levels Georgetown Guyana and those of us who've lived here for a while remember a time when the sea did not come over the wall and certainly there was a time when we didn't need this supplementary wall so there's this additional two feet of wall that's been added and Rupert Craig Highway on a morning when the sea is coming over the wall. Again, this is somebody's idea of a residence. So somebody decides to put this structure up at the wall, at the sea wall, Rupert Craig Highway. Now, not lacking in windows, so I can say it does have some redeeming features. That is, it is tall and has a super abundance of balconies and windows, but I don't know what kind of architecture that represents in the comments below tell me what you think of the architecture so this is modern architecture in Diana So that's Sheriff Street on the west of Sheriff Street is Kitty and on the east morning is Bel Air.